Greetings viewers, voyeurs, and welcome you with Got That Funk. What a gorgeous day it is today. And um, it's very apropos that it is considering the topic I want to talk about for this video. My dear viewers, some of you have been here for a long time and we've been as well acquainted as we can get through this medium, I suppose. I've certainly opened up my head enough times on my channel and the people who've been around the longest know that the best and therefore know more about me than others. But suffice to say that uh, for the majority of the time I've operated this channel, I have been a single middle-aged guy. And uh, you know, there was a two year interval between 2011 and 2013 where I was involved. And that wasn't a very healthy relationship for me and it was a good thing for me that it ended Although I still miss her on a level, but, you know, it was for the best. Anyway, um, and last year, uh, for my New Year's resolution for 2015, I had resolved that I was going to uh, just stay away from women for the entire year of 2015 and, you know, sort of not let myself even get interested in anyone, even if someone seemed interested in me, and just take the year off and reflect on my my romantic history and uh, try to figure out if I had to uh, basically disassemble any 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 garbage and throw it away you know what I mean and uh, so I did that I did a lot of reflecting last year and part of that process was me deciding whether or not it was possible for me to come to terms with the possibility that I might be alone and single for the rest of my adult life that's that's a rest of my adult life when you're in your 50s there's no other kind of life anyway um so yeah i was preparing myself emotionally and 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 mentally i suppose for the probability that i'd be on my own and you know that's always possible still but i turned 54 on the 10th of june and coincidentally on that same day i met literally the most incredible woman I've ever met in my life. Um, a friend of mine seems to have fixed us up. I was unaware that this was going on at the time. Um, I invited a, a few friends to join me for bowling on my birthday. And uh, one of them said, oh yeah, can I invite my other friend? And you know, I think you might like her. That's all he said. And I'm like, of course, you know, the more the merrier. And I didn't have any impression whatsoever that it was any kind of a fix up. And uh, when they arrived at the bowling alley, um, they were coming down the stairway and I looked at her and I was absolutely captivated and enchanted, but I tried to play it cool because I wasn't sure if, um, you know, if she was there with any expectation of meeting me as such. You know, I, I, I wasn't sure. I, 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 I certainly didn't get the vibe of it, but then when I saw her coming down the stairs, I'm like, hang on a minute, you know, she's a lot older than he is. And uh, it just automatically made me go, oh, okay. Anyway, and straight away when she got there, she was basically, you know, in my face and in my space talking to me and obviously quite eager to engage. And we had a great night uh, bowling and talking and, and just getting to know each other. And I did something that night that I never do. And I mean this when I say I never do this. We were in the middle of a conversation, uh, I don't even know whose turn it was to bowl, and she and I were just talking, and uh, there was like a pause in, in the conversation, and I said to her, I said, listen, I already know I want to see you again, can I please have your number so we can get together sometime soon? And she's like, oh, yeah, and she plugged her number into my phone, and then we carried on talking as if that didn't happen. And um, yeah, that was really nice. And subsequent to that, I have talked to her and spent a lot of time with her and I find myself feeling feelings I haven't felt for 30 years. Because yeah, I've been in love plenty of times in my life and I'm well acquainted with the feeling of falling in love. But even though I have fallen in love with other women in the past 30 years, what's happening to me right now hasn't happened for 30 years and that's this. Y'all know me, hopefully, by now. And, you know, I'm a I'm pretty self-confident, self-aware kind of person. 
And uh, my attitude is, you know, when I meet women that I'm attracted to, yeah, sure, I hope they like me. Of course I do. But if they don't, that's okay. You know, you can't lose something you never had, right? So I just, you know, write off as much their loss as it is as mine, and, and I don't really let it encumber me much. But when I met this woman, straight away after after uh, we parted that night, I'm just like, God, if she doesn't if she doesn't fucking like me, I'm gonna be gutted. <laughs> I never feel like that. I never give a fuck, really. I mean, normally normally I'm like, yeah, I hope they like me, and if not, okay, that's fine. You know, I'm cool, single, and even so, there's plenty of fish in the sea, so either way, I don't have to be really, really, but I mean, if, if this chick slips through my fingers, I'll be fucking gutted, gutted. She's fantastic. Uh, she's a professor of archaeology at a university, and she teaches other courses besides archaeology as well. And uh, we've had a few dates now, and uh, the physical chemistry between us is amazing. Uh, the conversation flows really easy and can meander from all sorts of different subjects within the same conversation. She's funny and she appreciates my sense of humor. She's knockout gorgeous, which is a huge bonus for me. And the most important thing of all to me is she really, really seems to like me. And she really seems to fancy me. And she really seems to respect my quirky bit, you know, all this shit. Um, and that's important. <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 I kind of think I'm falling in love. Um, I'm not there yet. I don't know her well enough to be able to say that I love her, but everything I know about her so far, I love that. And um, I'm certainly looking forward to getting closer and, and more well acquainted. And if I have any say in the matter whatsoever, I'm playing for keeps. I, 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 I never thought that I'd feel this way again. She makes me feel great about myself as well. I mean, the fact that a woman so stunning on every level, intellectually and emotionally and physically, could fancy someone like me, it just makes me feel amazing. And uh, normally it's weird, like I say, I don't normally depend on that kind of validation from other people to feel good about myself, but she makes me feel better about myself than I do normally. So yeah, bonus. And I really care about her. Um, I would love to dedicate myself to her happiness and, um, you know, share a lot of good times because, you know, life is short and uh, it'd be nice to find a love that lasts. On that note, I think I'll end the video. I want to thank you guys for indulging me for this one, and I look forward to the comment section. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon on this channel, but if not, I'm always on The Breakfast Club every Monday, except for last week, of course, when I had a migraine that would make Gandhi kick babies. But anyway, I digress. I wish you all a pleasant day. May all your ups and downs be ups.